I actually didn't start off to be a volcanologist. I happened to be a witness to the May 18th, 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. And it was a very perilous flea for our lives. And as a result, my curiosity, because I was already a geologist about volcanoes, was, was peaked, <laughs> to say, in the extreme. And uh, so I, I made that my life's work. Your curiosity was piqued with the eruption of Mount St. Helens, but how did you temper the fear that you must have felt during that eruption to want to devote your career to this pursuit? The fear was incredible. I did think that we were not going to make it out, but I had enough geology and volcanology at that point to understand what the threats were, what the hazards were. And so when we were fleeing from the area, we were very cognizant of things like the ash fall and what that might have the impact, the debris flows, which were careening down the peripheral rivers of Mount St. Helens. So we made decisions that um, in, in retrospect were the right decisions. What are some of the biggest achievements of your career? The multinational Andean project. That project originally started out with Chile, Peru, Bolivia and Argentina and then it grew to expand and include Ecuador, Venezuela and Colombia. So for a, a 10 year period, worked very closely with those countries and really helped them understand hazard and risk. So what we were looking at were volcanic hazards, earthquake hazards and landslide hazards. We were able to make a, a big difference actually in the lives, the individual lives and communities that were living in hazardous areas in the Andes. How do you measure success in your field? Success is about helping people and communities facing a hazard. So helping them understand what the hazard is that, that they are faced with and how they can prepare and mitigate those hazards. What is a misconception you think the general public might have about your career as a volcanologist? the thinking that volcanologists are kind of cavalier and uh, kind of there because it's a cool place to be. People really need to understand that volcanoes are, are incredibly dangerous. We don't completely understand them, even the ones that are monitored, and they're nothing to joke about. Most of the deaths that are, are related to volcanoes, which are long time active volcanoes, where there is tourist traffic are among the tourists. What's next for you in your career? What's the, the next project that you have coming up? I've segued from pure volcanology into geothermal energy. So all of that incredible heat that we see deep below the earth, that heat is possible to be tapped and uh, we can make power and, uh, and thermal energy out of it. Catherine, I really enjoyed uh, this conversation. It was an illuminating discussion. Thanks again and hopefully we can talk again soon. You're welcome. Thank you.